So we're going to move from personalized computer assistance to a system that a researcher is working on here that tells us what's new on this page. Sound interesting? Well, come meet Susan DeMay. Hey, hi, Susan. Hey, Bill, how are you? I'm good. Good to, good to see you. So tell me about what's new on this page. And I'm particularly interested in this because one of the things that clinicians face a lot of the time is getting a lot of information. And when I first heard about this, I really saw it as a way that might help organize data that physicians look at in, 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 in web interfaces and tell me what's new since I last looked. And that's what this does. Exactly. Let me just start with a, a little bit of background. So it turns out that the web is a really a dynamic information environment. Web pages are constantly changing. Something like 65% of the web pages change over a period of a few months. Yet what's interesting is that all the tools that we have to provide access to those pages, whether it's a web browser, um, search engine, all focus on a single time slice. So when you visit a page, it's what's there now. Uh, and it's very hard to understand some of these temporal dynamics. So what we've done is develop a browser plugin, this What's New plugin, that shows you what's different on a web page since you last visited. So let me show you how that works. Great. Okay, what I've done here is this is the New York Times uh, homepage, and I visited it uh, a little while ago. If I refresh that page, right, oh, let me point out one thing that new sites in particular try to show you something about the dynamics of information. So you can see here that 22 minutes ago that story changed. What's interesting though is that that's what's new to the publisher, not what's new to, to you as a user. So if we refresh this page, um, what you'll see is You can see highlighted immediately all the things that have changed since I last visited. So the stock prices have changed over here. Um, you can see that there's a new question and answer story. There's a new story here on back pain without drugs, in fact, a very medically related uh, story. Similarly, if I go to the health section of the New York Times, again, I visited this earlier this morning. Uh, in this case, see what's changed. There's a new lead article on asparagus, spring's most versatile vegetable, uh, some other things on, on healthy cooking. And at a quick glance, what you can see is the stuff that I haven't seen before really jumps out at me. Um, so this is actually a case where you might expect change. So you're going back, we'll say, and looking at a patient record or looking at, at information that you're trying to stay on top of, and it's very obvious what the change is. What's interesting about this application, however, is that it also highlights change in places that you don't ex necessarily expect it. So let me show you an example of um, that. This is Bing, the new Microsoft search engine. And if I, so I visited this earlier this morning. If I refresh the page, one of the things you see is that this uh, little region here, it's a new uh, popular queries. It's something that I hadn't expected to change. I wasn't going here to monitor for change. I was going here to see repeated information, yet it sort of puts a new lens onto information by highlighting what's different in, since I've last visited. And, and that's so important because we spend a lot of time on a screen looking at information. As I said, it could be patient data. It could be lots exactly. of different things, but this really will point out to me what's new since I last looked with this yellow highlighting. It, it, one of the important uh, design considerations in building this was not to make it uh, be a heavyweight system that you had to configure, had to sign up for alerts. This works on every single page. So without you ever doing anything, in a very lightweight way, you can see what's different, what's new, what you should be paying attention to. Do you want to try it on a few health-related sites? Sure. Okay. So I, uh, these I visited yesterday, so we'll see um, how these work. What are they? They are... Uh, we'll see if anything's changed. This is CDC. Okay, so this is a uh, health-related site that I visited yesterday. It's a CDC site for the H1 virus. You can see that there are some uh, new updates on, on the front page, uh, and then not much else has changed. So there's some high-level updates. What's interesting is even though there's no change here, it's very, very evident to me at a quick glance. So it, I don't have to spend a lot of time making sure that I haven't seen these items. In both cases, it, it's really evident in a very lightweight fashion. All right. Well, great. Thanks for sharing Thanks what's new on this page. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.